Hey guys, Gavin here. I was just redoing my node tree blueprint and in Resolve you can save your node trees as DPX files. So you just export a DPX file and you have your node tree attached to it. And uh, I was thinking to myself, well, why not share it with you guys? Because that's something that I was interested in, uh, interested in when I was starting out. And uh, it's something that can very much help you with your workflow because you don't have to spend as much time, you know, naming stuff and creating notes and thinking about stuff like that. So um, I want to share it with you guys. No strings attached, no newsletter sign up, no payment, no whatever. So just a gift of me to you. And, uh, you know, as this is for free, um, you know, what else is for free? Leaving a like, leaving a like. I have to stutter. I can I can hardly pronounce it. <laughs> can hardly say it. Le leaving a like, leaving a sub, leaving a comment, <laughs> or maybe share it with people that are in uh, you know interested in this stuff and that also need some help when starting out. So um, let me show you the note tree here. And uh, so I named everything accordingly and uh, as you can see um it's quite quite a big one of course um a lot of times i just uh you know take the snow tree i'll I'll show you how to import it of course because uh, you can download for free the link is in the description of this video and i'll show you how to do that too and uh but let's first start with the no tree itself so um it starts out with the denoise always when I want to do a denoise it's not always the case you know there's some clean footage out there <laughs> and uh, fortunately there's also good well shot footage well lit footage so you don't always have to denoise and some of the grain that the cameras produce is also quite nice so if you want to have a denoise I would do it in the first note here then it's uh, you know it's structured it this way here see this is the cst to the winchy wide gamut this is my preferred color space to work in and here is the cst from uh, from the winchy wide gamut to rec 709 so everything happening in here is like the the main grade i would call it okay so everything happens in this color space going in from whatever i have the cst already on here uh into the winchy wide gamut and here from the Vinci white gamma to rec 709 gamma to 4 if your monitor is calibrated to gamma to another gamma then you can change it here of course you can change everything you can expand it you can add more notes of course so that's always a possibility i mean most of you will know that but people who are new to this maybe don't um so in the actual grading pocket i would call it this way now um we start out with a balance so uh, just lift gamma gain and just balancing out the shot then i like to do my keys and my mask so i have six notes here that you can fill with whatever you want and uh, i like to do them here so they're uh, not affected by anything happening here so all of this works on the relatively clean image just after the balance okay then after that on top of that so we have a contrast note you can change it to whatever you like i do my contrast here if i need to hopefully i did a good job and did it here already but i don't want to you know if i change it here maybe some of the masks will uh react differently or some of the keys will react different differently so i do it after same with the saturation then on top of the whole picture you know sometimes you want to have a, a certain a window a circle whatever you want to have a fluff on something you want to darken something up you can do it in those parallel notes here so they don't affect each other okay then the vignette we have so like a circle vignette you can put that makes the, the the image a bit darker on the edges so you have a bit more focus on the subject and we have a gradient so sometimes a client will say hey um can you darken it from the top can you darken it from left or right and of course you can always go i can always add just another parallel note okay so another gradient or what whatever you want to do okay then 
then we come to the look node okay so if i want to say i want my blacks to be a bit more blue i do it in here also you can always add another serial node to do more adjustments so you want to say hey i have this adjustment now this look adjustment and i want to try something else then i do another node so i can deactivate it see what's happening okay then client says hey let's do this you have a last pass the client just wants it a bit more bright wants it a bit more dark do it here again client one then you can say hey do another note because they do another pass then have a client two note okay client adjustment you can also name it you know see whatever darker client darker or whatever you want to do okay then we have the like the other bracket is it, is it a bracket i don't know so this is in this is out to rec 709 from da vinci white gamut okay so it's 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 i did it like that so i have a bit more of an overview okay of the burp sorry <laughs> that's not coming okay i'm i'm lucky here <laughs> um then we have um so the film looks in da vinci resolve work with um they work with sinian film lock somebody in in the last video said hey when you put those adjustments in, into one node, so you have uh, the conversion from Rec. 7 and 9 to Sinian Film Lock, and you put the LUT also in here, then the LUT will work after it. So it's always, um, you know, the correct procedure here. So first, color space transform, then LUT. So you put your LUT on here, okay? So thank you very much for that advice. I kind of do it. I sometimes I put those into a compound node just so I have a bit more of an overview, but I can just save one node by doing it this way, by putting it into one node. Okay. Hope you got that. <laughs> then if you want to do any adjustments, so I think about, you know, sharpening the whole image, stuff like that. I have those two adjustment notes here okay so for example i do an adjustment here uh, with sharpening the image and then you do whatever you want to do here okay sometimes it's it's not a problem to work to to even do a color adjustment here you know some sometimes you're lucky and something nice will happen it's 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 not you you couldn't <laughs> the nice thing about this is you can do whatever you want to do okay some people will say hey, it's not technically correct, but whatever, you know, the end result, it's, that's what counts. Okay. I'm saying, okay, too much. I'm sorry for that. So, and the last note that I have here, sometimes I group my shots, you know, because I want a different grain on different shot groups. Then I put those in two group and do it in the after note, but just for this note tree here, so you have everything, you can put the grain on here. Okay, so that's usually what's happening at the very end. Okay. So then if you want to import, if you want to import this, so in my description, there's a download link to a DPX file. Okay. You just go and you have your gallery here okay then you just do a right click and you do an import and then you import you can already see all files dpx tiff tiff jpeg whatever i was in export the dpx for my node tree and then you just import your node tree here so you can do it once then you have it inside of your gallery okay so it's here like that then you just go into the timeline here uh where is it where is it i'm stupid there we have the clips and you just choose one of those clips okay then you go here this is the dpx you imported you do a middle mouse click boom and now you have the no tree so guys i hope you uh got something out of this i hope this helps you if you have any questions feel free to ask and yeah, so like I said, it's all for free, but it's also free to, you know, you don't always have to watch my full videos. I'm, I'm, that's totally fine with me. I don't force you to do anything, but it always helps to just 
let them run through completely leave a like and uh maybe leave a nice comment so that's that's for free too so <laughs> that's what i'm not asking but you know that's something you can consider okay so i hope to see you in the next one too and uh, i'm very happy that i could do two two videos in two days uh this week so <laughs> i hope it can i hope it continues this way so see you in the next one cheers and bye bye